If you've ever shopped for these changeable photo tiles, then you know they're super expensive. What if I told you I can show you how to make these super affordable and super easy? Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Noreen Eppley. Yes, I'm still getting used to saying that. I have been shopping for a Christmas gift and I have found so many amazing companies that make these changeable photo tiles. Now, you know me, I'm a budget girl. So yes, I found some that were pretty affordable, but I also found some that were shockingly expensive. The least expensive I found was right around $7.50 per photo tile and I thought there had to be a way to do it much more affordably. So here are some of the supplies you're going to need to do this. You will need some foam core, some spray mount, and I've talked about some different spray mounts that I like in the past. My favorites are either Studio Tree, but they also have the 3M, they also have the Gorilla Glue, whatever type you find just make sure that in this instance it is permanent not removable you'll also need a sawtooth hanger but i'm also going to show you the super affordable option which i'm going to use and that is using soda tabs the other optional item which is going to make it look exactly like those you can buy online is some black acrylic paint so this is how easy it is. Get some foam core from your craft store. They do sell them at the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree. I know those of you out of the United States have a hard time finding it, but it is just a craft board and the price on that will fluctuate. But if you can find it at your local dollar store, that's gonna make this super affordable. You're going to take your spray mount and lightly spray both sides. Let the spray sit for just a minute or two so it's just tacky to the touch but not wet. If you attach them right away when they're wet, you do have the risk of bubbling and that moisture being absorbed into your photograph. So let it sit for just a minute or two and then carefully place it on your foam core. Start with a corner edge so that you're making sure your photos are perfectly arranged and then you can place the other photos right next to it to ensure that everything is squared. After that, use a straight guide like a ruler and carefully cut along those edges making sure they are straight. This is where the professional look really comes in. Get a sponge applicator or even a Q-tip and just paint the edges of the foam core, being careful to not get it on your photograph. If you do get a little, especially if you've chosen black and white like mine, you won't even notice it. But if you do have a color, just get a very lightly damp rag, wipe off that excess paint and no one will know. Once your paint has dried, I promise you guys, this is such a quick project. It took me about 10 minutes to do the entire thing. Get your sawtooth hanger, or if you're doing what I did to make it super budget friendly, break off the tabs from a soda can and you can hot glue these to the back of your photo. Just use a ruler to make sure you're placing it right in the center. I took the extra step of getting two pliers and bending it slightly so that when it was attached to the back of the photo, it would come out just a little bit. Since it's foam core and a photograph, these are so feather lightweight, the hook is really just to give something for the nail to hang onto. Now you're ready to arrange these however you would like on your wall. If you do not want to have holes in your wall, the companies that are selling these for 20 or more dollars a piece use double-sided tape. I think instead of having double-sided tape on your wall that could remove the paint, why not use the command strip Velcro option? This would allow you to change out the photos on a regular basis easily and not have to have any extra waste. But I think the sawtooth hanger would easily allow you to keep changing out these pictures. If you don't plan on using them again, you could always attach a new photo right over the top or gently peel off the photo and then attach the new one. 
This can be as affordable as you want. It's really based on the size that you choose of the photo. I opted to have mine printed at Walmart just because I wanted it to be super easy. If you have a color printer, you can print these on your computer. I found in the past when using photo paper, over time it does fade. So take that into consideration. If you're gonna be swapping these out regularly, it does not matter. But if you plan on having it up for more than a year, and if it's getting any type of sunlight on it, just know it's going to fade over time. So if you don't mind having them printed, have it printed at your logo photo place. I also recommend getting them printed in matte because it's not going to attract dust. And if it does, you're not going to see it. And it also won't be as reflective in light, meaning that you'll be able to see it wherever you're at in your home. I chose to do a couple of different sizes, but if you're doing one of the tile examples that you see, eight by eight is the most common size, and you can cut these down after you get them if you're doing eight by 10 photos. Some photo places will allow you to print the exact size. So play around with that as you're looking at your Walmart, your Walgreens, CVS, wherever you're going to have your photos printed. This should give you so many options to change the decor around in your home and keep it down to just pennies a piece. I hope you liked this idea. I'm excited to give this to my new husband as a Christmas gift. I've already put all the nails in the wall and on Christmas morning, I'm going to hang them up after he's left the bedroom and then surprise him with this later. So Jay, if you're watching, you just ruined your Christmas present. I can't wait to see you guys in the new year. I hope this holiday season finds you happy, healthy, and as always, I so appreciate you being here with me. I will see you in the new year with tons of new ideas. Happy holidays. Bye.